Hi everybody, it's Dr. Jen and it is another What You Want to Know Wednesday. This one's getting released on a Thursday and I apologize, but that's because it was Canada Day yesterday and I decided not to do a video. So today for What You Want to Know Wednesday, we are going to talk about how teeth actually move. I'm not going to get super scientific on you here. We're not going to talk about cytokines and all of that stuff, but I do think it's important to understand the basics of how teeth move. So we're going to pretend my finger is a tooth. Now, if we want this tooth that is like this to be like this, we are going to push as an example on that tooth. Now a tooth must have pressure on it for most hours of the day, say around 22 for the tooth to respond in the way I'm going to describe. So your tooth has a crown, that's the part above the gums, and then the root, we'll say this is the root, is in the bone, okay? And it's surrounded by gums, gum tissue, pink. And so what happens is when we push on the top part of the tooth, the crown part of the tooth, the root of the tooth will put pressure on the bone because your tooth is one solid hard structure, right? So if I'm pushing on the top, that means the top is going this way and the bottom is going that way. Wherever there is pressure on bone, the bone melts away or dissolves. So there are cells that come there, make the bone soft and take the bone away. And then the root of the tooth will move into that new space. And then on the other side, other cells come and they build the bone back up to make sure that it's nice and solid and thick on the other side of the tooth. So tooth movement is a process of bone resorbing or melting away on one side of the tooth and new bone being deposited on the other side of the tooth. And then when we stop moving that tooth, all the bone gets nice and firm and solid all the way around the tooth. And that's pretty cool because you can move a tooth with a finger on your tooth for 22 hours a day. That's how thumb suckers do it. You can move a tooth with plastic. You can move a tooth with metal, any combination of those things, because all that actually matters is that pressure is being put on that tooth and consistent pressure will cause bone to change which allows teeth to move. I hope that's something that maybe you didn't know already. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.